it is apparent also that both regionally and in our national context, consumers are paying too much for too little bandwidth. Speaking, speaking as an end consumer, not as a minister, because I haven't been fully briefed on this matter yet, I find that the broadband offerings available to individual consumer and business sector persons to be overpriced and underpowered. And the prices and speed of broadband access can vary widely and wildly among even the three neighboring islands that are part of this CARSIP project, St. Lucia, Grenada, and St. Vincent and the Grenadines. It is notable, for example, that one Internet provider provides a maximum broadband speed of 8 megabits per second in Grenada, while allowing only 3 megabits per second in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. The maximum speed that a consumer can buy in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, the maximum speed is 4.4 megabits per second, while you can get up to 12 in Grenada. Even more troubling is that in three neighboring countries with similar histories, similar topographies, and similar population sizes, a consumer's dollar buys far less internet in one country as opposed to another. On the low end of the bandwidth scale, one megabit per second can go from anywhere between $23 and $90 per month. While if you were wealthy enough to be able to spend $300 a month on internet access, you could get three megabits per second in one country, four megabits per second in another country, and 12 megabits per second in a third, for your same 300 EC dollars. Now I repeat that these observations are from the perspective of a consumer of internet services and not as a minister. And it is certainly not an attempt by me to bash or malign businesses that are providing the bulk of our internet connectivity. And I know that after I speak to Apollo, He'll tell me about the regulatory impediments to price parity across the region. And I'm sure that when I have a chance to speak to the service providers, they will tell me about the infrastructural and economic disparities that they face in the various countries. And I'm sure that the specialists in the ministries will tell me about the technical differences. And when I know all of that, I'll be able to speak on this from the perspective of a minister, and I hope and promise that you will hear from me soon as a minister on this point. And infrastructural development will be the further enhancement of our broadband and IT capabilities. At the recent launch of the Caribbean Regional Communications Infrastructure Program, which is called CASIP, I commented at some length about the fact that the broadband internet available to end users in St. Vincent and the Grenadines is overpriced and underpowered relative to our neighbors. Alan was there, I don't want to go over the whole spiel because people might start to think that I am um, at war with the internet service providers, and that's not the case at all. But when you look at the data uh, relative to our neighbors, we pay more for less internet. Um, and that's a conversation that I want to have with our internet providers. This relative disadvantage is an impediment to a host of investment opportunities, particularly in high-tech sectors. The conduct of our existing foreign investors should not be an impediment to future investment, particularly if their own narrow business interests are motivating them to act in an inconsistent manner across the region. Invest SVG has a role to play in monitoring these cross-regional developments and advising the state of the major infrastructural impediments to investment. Look, we have this on the line here, information and communication technology. It's a wonderful thing. I, with the minister with responsibility for that, am fully in support of it. But if investor X 
has to choose between St. Vincent and the Grenadines and either our neighbor to the north or to the south, which is St. Lucia or Grenada. The fastest internet you can get in St. Vincent and the Grenadines is 4.4 megabits per second, and you pay about $300 for that, a little more. For the same $300, you can get 8.8 .8 in Grenada, you can get 12 in St. Lucia. So if you are an IT firm looking to invest, why would you constrain yourself with a lower bandwidth for more money when you could go 100 miles north or south and get a better deal? Um, so that is something that, and this is just an example, this is again, it's not an attack on any internet service provider, but we hope that Invest SVG can point us to some of the impediments that we may be facing relative to other countries, and so that the state working in tandem with Invest SVG could find ways to alleviate these sorts of discrepancies in one way or another. <coughs> now, turning to 